watch this, chat. Watch this. It's like, this is the first try. Watch. It's, a, it, it's just that easy, dude. Watch this. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. Uh, 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 uh. Watch this. No, 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 listen, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, okay, listen, listen, watch, watch, watch this, it's that right here, watch, hmm, it, you guys just wait, no, it's, it's, oh man, listen, listen, listen to the girl, watch this, like I said, like I said, it's, it's just that easy. It's just that easy. It's just that easy, dude. Oh my lord. Now watch this. Two missiles right here. Coming in. Mmm. Oh, dude. Oh, god. Mmm. Oh, oh my lord! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh! Chat. Who did not believe on the RG manipulation strats? Who did not believe on the RG manipulation strats? Well, yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Can't stop winning. Oh my lord. Alright, let's see. Um, What do we need to test here, chat? Okay. Now the next one I want to see. Senti's shield is not. Because uh, what happens here is like the, the ones that... You see the shield? You see the health, the defense here? So when Shen when Senti puts up the shield, she's the one that gets the shield. There's a, like a blue health bar here. Might be difficult to see, but yeah, it's right there. Now for now, if I use Arya though, Arya will shield will put shield for everyone, and that's what I want to see if that's gonna work. So okay, so now Arya put shield. There's the Guardian of Friendship right there. Oh, I mean, obviously, I know that like there are two different like they're, they're burst too. But uh, what I'm getting at though is the mechanics. So basically, any time that they get the shield, or oh, in particular, whenever Naga gets the shield, then her skill one will trigger activates when applying shield. So because they're right there, there's a guardian of friendship among across like everyone, right? You see, now, so basically. <clears throat> this is what differentiates like what's happening in here right senti and the, in the same regard poli also so let me show poli but in the same regard poli will also give a shield but the thing is the one that's getting the shield is it sh it gets put into poli not naga so Basically, just look at where the H uh, look at the HP bar. You'll start to get an understanding of how the the shield mechanics work. Here, I'm gonna burst with Bully, but watch the HP in here on Bully. Right, you see the shield is on Bully. Now let's look at Naga. You see, there's no Guardian of Friendship buff. There's not a single one. Right. And that's because like. Poli is the one that um, this burst, it creates a shield, protects all allies from damage, but the one that's getting the shield is Poli and like not Naga. So like there's no Guardian of Friendship. <clears throat> and so now the question starts becoming like, which unit has a shield before burst 2? Because like you want to burst with Naga and we got this one. <laughs> <laughs> is that spaghetti coding or intended it's been intended that's how it's been working this whole time like for poly poly senti and um that's why uh it gets destroyed pretty fast also and that's also why if you remember 
like Poli and Senti's shield were not that great back in Modernia Soul na Union Raid back then. If you guys uh, have played Union Raid back then, and that's the reason why Arya was a good popular choice also back then, because Arya's shield is individual. They put she puts a shield for each unit. Meanwhile, like Senti puts that shield only one, it, it it'll guard everyone, but the the HP bar is only existing on Senti. Like the shield is only on Senti. So there's the Senti shield. Okay, so. Let's use Ether. So I use Ether Burst right here, which gives shield. Three ally units with the lowest remaining HP. There's the Guardian of Friendship right here. Now th that's basically how like Naga's Naga's shield works. She has to be on the receiving end for it to work. Now th this burst, that means that she needs to have a shield active in order for this second burst. Okay. Support of friendship, that's because of her skill too. Whenever she's like normal attacking, affects two ally units with the highest attack. Now let's look at the burst. The burst is affect all allies and affects when applying shield. Let's start with, I guess I'll just go with Edder. Sure. Use Edder and then Naga. Now you have the two effects of as long as we're friends, the 9.5% and then 17% right there because of that yep everyone get, get got it so that's how it's being done but now let's try with let's try with jackal this time like if i burst with jackal jackal naga burst there's only one so that means that in order for this second part to apply she needs to have a shield on and then she bursts oh that's a pretty straightforward thing for naga now the next part that I want to test is basically, uh, I know already that this is how she's gonna work, but it's just more, we're, we're gonna test this just for confirmation. This one, the attack, caster attack, I'm almost positive that this is based off her base attack. Let's just try it. What that means, th what that means is, yeah, basically this doesn't get affected by the buff. So, whatever buff that she get, cause like she got, she got Dala's buff right here, but it didn't affect how much she was buffing. Again, like we already know this, but obviously, the the thing is sometimes you just can't help like test again. Like behavior for one unit, sometimes they don't accurately get it. Because what happened there is basically I only got the buff on the character on like Sakura, right? But that didn't affect how much bonus damage we got from Naga. So now the last test that we have to do. So we already uh, we tested the damage core, it's additive. And uh, so, so basically if we're doing core shot, we start at 100% damage bonus. If you're not doing a core shot, it's 0%. So just a uh, heads up, like this core hit bonus, right? Cause like basically if we're not shooting, I guess the, the, the way they did it is the damage, 200% damage when attacking to core. What that actually means is like, we, if you're not shooting the core, you're dealing at 100% damage. And again, a reminder of the formula here. It's like, it's additive to like crit damage, core hit, range damage, full burst. Yeah, I don't MLB everything. I don't MLB if like one, I don't like the character that much or two, um, uh, it's not a limited unit that is gonna be not sure if we're gonna come back again. So like, let me show you the ones that I didn't really limit break, right? Uh, Summer Mary, I didn't limit break. Nero, I didn't li limit break. Marshana, I didn't limit break. Uh, Summer Helm, I also didn't limit break. So I, I don't limit break everyone. So basically like, when people are asking, is it worth to MLB? I would say they're gonna be along the lines of people that are in my mindset. 
and so the next thing that you're just gonna ask or you should ask is did sky did you mov the unit that's probably the ads that's probably so so if you guys are asking sky did you mov the unit that's that's so that that's your answer <laughs> It's like, is it worth to MLB is? Sky, did you MLB the unit? Just look at it. Because I would MLB a unit if I feel like it's like a competitive unit that requires like damage scaling. And um, yeah, I guess. Um, but I, at the same time also, you have to realize when you ask me that question, look at my account first, okay? So whenever people are going to ask that question to me, look at my account first, but you know, listen, if you feel like you're a competitive person, because like, again, I'm going to assume that the ones that are going to ask that are probably, they have money, they're willing to pay. If you're free to play, don't MLB in my opinion. That's my take on it. Um, I, it, it's better if you just like save your unit or save your currency because again you could get caught off like just a back to back to back to back to back like like meta units one after another so even even if i have a competitive free to play account again free to play account i have a competitive one i just like get one copy it still gets like top three percent actually got, i got top two percent last time in uh in solo raid and like and i've been it, it's a competitive one it's just a high level one it's uh, 272 right now uh that's uh, a lot of the free to play day one competitives are at 290 right now but obviously it's because i'm not like focused on like just just one account and that's like a back burner i sometimes miss like the progression of it i think i can push it to 280 now but yeah for that one account that's free to play i only i always just get one copy if you're free to play i always just say get one copy now like if you're gonna say but sky i want to mlb i'm free to play Shh, do it god damn it i'm sick of it like again if you had to ask the answer is no but yeah i mean like a lot of people they would just they if you're competitive you would probably just look at my account i guess so like see what sky did did he mlb it or not and uh just to uh, for the record i i i have enough copies to mlb naga so there if you're gonna uh, sky's gonna change it if you have to ask just swipe credit card and deal with the consequences yeah again i'm gonna assume that people that are asking is it worth to mlb is probably people that are probably willing to swipe some money and competitive if you are in not that category yeah the but also keep in mind i also mlb units even though they're not that great if they're like collab units that i know that like i'm not sure if they're gonna come back so th that's the only thing that you're gonna have to like look into but otherwise if they're not limited units that are like i could see them coming back then sure you could see if like did sky mlb that unit because i don't mlb every unit right but like for example c power and makima i mlb them because they're they're collab units so like i'm not i'm not gonna be sure if they're gonna come back so like i wanted to get whatever like is them right so there's that so for people that are wondering is it worth to mlb look just look i guess like at my account and <laughs> if i mlb did or not but yeah again not everything is something that i mlb right here right like i got summer mary i know that this is this is a this is a unit that is exist that shift up owns so they're just gonna come back later down the road in the future when like summer comes up again Marshana, yeah, right. Like I didn't MLB. Typically, healers and uh, non DPS like support units. That's kind of like the general idea for it. Uh, and in this situation, Naga, 
the reason why I MLB'd Naga is because she scales off this attack. Like this this is this caster's attack is based off her attack and you want more attack. Oh um let's overload and I guess like the attack percentage. I hope I get attack percentage here. Defense Oh let's go attack percent let's go what that shows is ol does not work on her even if we have attack percentage because i did not include that attack percentage in the calculation of these bonus attack percentage it's still 93441 so Okay, so who are we gonna compare her to? Um, okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of a non boomer hand strats, boys. Okay, Summer Annis, boom, 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 go, go, go. That's not, that's not bad for burst, too. Chad, this is like a semi non boomer hand, okay? Like, I do my best. And this is in context of Pierce um okay i'm gonna change the burst rotation a little bit because like summer anis is getting scuffed a little bit because of the timing of the burst so summer anis is being inted right because of litter's bank ammo oh let's not use litter what if we use doherty so this one is not inting my summer anis when she's bursting I think I'm gonna burst with Summer Anis first. Focus the Pierce so that would take advantage of it. Oh, look at that Pierce. Oh, oh my god, look at those num- oh my. The number spread. I gotta say though, we're upkeeping also the cover. She ends up being like a good sub as cover. Oh rip, Summer Anis cover's gone, no. Okay, the moment Summer Anis dies. So in this situation, um, okay, I feel like this one was fairly uh, proper this time around. Summer Anis has more rate show than Naga half, half of a main DPS. So we know that it's all all base attack similar to Noir. So you definitely want. Oh, I thought they ran. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh no! Why are you leveling up her gear? Her skill, her skill is scaling based off her base attack. So just overloading is not really enough. The same way as you do with Noah, you want the these three pieces to be plus five just to increase like the buff that they give so the attack percentage is not buffing it's the so like the overload is not really enough like you're not it, she's you're not using them to their full potential basically until you actually like actually increase that so in terms of dps test basically she is like doing half of like a proper dps what if we don't have summer anis though like now the question is where do i aim i guess i aim at the vulcan i'm a Vul should i aim at the vulcan i feel like it sucks if like if i aim at the vulcan but whatever like i'm not getting a lot of like the pierce it's still half of like a dps basically or no not not really this one's one third because I'm like, I'm, I'm torn between like targeting the middle versus like targeting outside of it. So in terms of her offensive capabilities, she's like half of a DPS with Summer Anis. Actually, yeah. So I guess like she, yeah, have her having with Summer Anis is actually fairly good. But at the same time, you have to consider of 
the, the downside of it like because you're not getting the attack to core so if you want her to be like a little bit more of a dps then summer anis is like great with her it makes her kind of like a little bit more on par but the thing is like it's not like summer anis will make a lot of good use on her because in terms of naga's offensive capabilities she doesn't have like her alone in particular her alone she doesn't have anything that increases her own particular damage but other than like pierce going through the body parts and then like the boss main body i mean right now it obviously feels like we're really just like using half of her kit we're not really getting this application on the shield uh damage increase to core we already kind of i already showed you guys like the formula of it basically when we're doing core damage it's just like a direct additive to it and it's diluted with critical critical damage range bonus and full burst bonus but obviously you can't really do much on range bonus and full bonus but like with crit damage the core hit is a little bit counterintuitive right yeah i think we'll just have to see in this scenario what else could it be and something to keep in mind is once tia comes out tia comes out is this one it's included in the weak point damage it's one plus um boss part damage which is like dorothy's buff and then this one sg peers random help is to help pe people push campaign against those shield mobs and control those are pretty good yeah for sg and like for example remember the free to play you guys might not remember this but really a while back we made like a free to play uh chatterbox wait what the heck why are these videos showing up in my channel huh why would that why would those videos show up in my search bar in like what <laughs> yeah, right there like back then we used neve against shatterbox because neve had a pierce and she she was actually doing fairly decent damage on uh right there on chatterbox Right. And this is a free to play team back then we were using like N102, Belorda, and Eve. Actually, uh, you could do it without Senti. I believe we were using Summer Anis also. Or, yeah, we were, or not Summer Anis, Normal Anis and Anise. Which else? What other DPS do you guys want to test? Is there a single boss like no additional mobs? Let me switch this up 61, 62 at 208. Chow, I'm just checking the buff. Okay, we got one full at the 208. Blanca Nora is just better, obviously. So about like 30% more damage. But that's also because my Blank is level 10 burst and Nora is 10-10. So there, there, there's, there's other factors in here. But obviously, she's still lacking, right? Like we need, we need the second half. Cause like me using naga right now i'm not getting this one this additional 61 percent and also this one the additional attack percentage bonus I'm, I'm trying to think of a unit that will give us the most effectiveness so what if we just put someone who doesn't buff at all how much does she provide would be great to test with novel but uh, i don't know if there's like a boss that will last long enough 206 left um 33 bar hp 207 uh we're a little bit step faster but that's also because guilty did more damage they end up being roughly the same you know what's crazy basically right 52 mil 52.9 mil on modernia 47 on modernia same amount of damage on helm same uh a little bit more damage on litter on naga side makes sense uh not helm just probably missed like some some shots in there 33 30 
So obviously, because Modernia gets more benefit with attack percentage compared to Scarlet, right? So right now, what Naga is providing is this, right? How the attack to core on her skill too, and then this one, the half of her skill, her burst, and uh, obviously that thirteen percent attack is not really benefiting Scarlet that much, as much as like if you compare it to like Modernia. Modernia doesn't have as big of an attack multiplier. She has thirty percent, but like you compare it to like Scarlet who has a hundred percent attack multiplier so that's like the main difference and also Moderna is getting more core damage so she's getting more power up compared to Scarlet would Nero Naga work for Union Raid team? why Union Raid team? I wouldn't use them together they're like they're two like they're both burst too you're, you're wasting like a DPS slot and obviously once you have Tia, you really don't have spot left. Because Tia is a burst zero unit. Like you have to burst with her first and then you need another burst one. And then you have Naga's burst two and then you only have two slots left for burst three. Yeah, obviously if I use bunny girls, this is just gonna out DPS it. But uh, you know, just to kind of give a comparison but we're, we're comparing it against a unit that doesn't have the other partner right like we're we're, not, we're missing like half of our kit right now so in my opinion right now i think we'll just have to wait for people that are just like not sure yet whether they should get naga or not as you can see basically naga alone is basically she's not providing if she's that much to the team like if guilty kind of fell out of like our team building then you know if you if you just have naga without tia then she's also gonna fall out fall out of like team building i think everyone knows it already but i think some people are just like waiting to for it to be spelled out they're like oh well you know should i wait should i uh, or should i go for it well right now i think we'll have to see whether naga or tia is gonna be better so i reached the 30 30 bar hp at 214 basically that means it's faster what if tia is bad that will ruin everything well that's why i mean the good thing is like there's some overlap so you guys uh, so right now it's just like just wait i guess like if you're on the fence like you're not sure if they're gonna be actually be really good then wait for wait for tia to come out and then we can test i'm worried for her taunt tia stunt you could actually think that that might be a good thing because like that means that you could use guillotine and scarlet like for free her taunt is a detriment in campaign i think for campaign oh yeah i guess this is something i want to address also yeah you guys for campaign i'm gonna have to rely on you guys to report how good the units are <laughs> uh main my main focuses have been like bosses and my campaign right now is yeah i am here on hard mode right now i think bunnies will reign supreme probably we'll see the shield might come in handy with dia who knows i do think that if you don't have I, I don't see why they wouldn't be used especially for like solo raid so if, like if you're competitive on solo raid i guarantee you because like right now we're losing we're, we don't have a fifth team like a consistent fifth team like you have you have litter with bunnies you have dorothy privity and then you have volume mast and then miranda dala and then the fifth team is basically we don't have one yet so for the ones that really want to compete and like solo raid that's your that's the fifth team right there the way i'm gonna compare them though is like how they're gonna compare 
if we use both blank and nor so you guys can expect that i will have like a fully invested like naga in the same level as nor so we'll be testing that out like my nor is 10 10 7 with like 5 5 5 so basically what does it look like at endgame once you've like fully invested in them how would it feel like and you guys can expect that i'll try to have them roughly equalized i i think right now it's kind of pointless to test more on naga because clearly how she is alone is as you can see like she she like her effective contribution was roughly the same as like a guilty right i mean i think she might be a little bit better than guilty um because of once uh, if we're just talking about skill two half of the skill two effects actually full full dps from the skill two effects and then like half of the burst effect she ends up being kind of similar to what guilty is right now and for a lot of like the top players guilty did we did kind of put her down a little bit lower and the main reason also why that's the case is because we're getting more stronger dps in like burst 3 like the burst 3 dps's are have been getting good and we're also starting to get like overloads in them and so how can we increase those dps more is by having like proper scaling different multiplier units right that's why novel and blank are like pretty top tier units in the burst too is because like they have this damage taken increase so that's why blanc and novel are dominating the top rankings right now in terms of dps comparison and mast is there because of her niche kind of buff right she has like a high hp scaling buff with like critical damage buffs and that critical damage synergizes well with the current third best burst one right now which is volume and the main reason why she's like the third best right now is because of like this one the cooldown burst reduction majority of the people that are using volume right now are just like this this burst re skill reduction that's really it <laughs> But otherwise, yeah, it's it's like that's the really like the main crit team viability, right? Volume and mass. Now there's like Miranda, but the issue with Miranda is she once she only buffs one unit, which is not exactly an issue because the, in the solo carry comp like Snow White, that's where Miranda shines, right? So it's a solo carry. It's ten seconds buff. It, it makes it comfortable to charge Snow White's buff as well so miranda's like really good the downside is she doesn't have a cooldown reduction and so that's when like dala comes in alongside with it so those are kind of like the four main like burst one burst two kind of meta right litter litter with the bunnies dorothy with novel volume with a uh, mast sometimes it's volume with novel also sometimes it, it it varies it depends on like what's left and then miranda and dala so yeah that's like the the meta right now so coming off with the fifth team yeah there's no cooldown reduction if we are putting naga in so the right now what i'm actually kind of expecting is naga and tia with volume for now loki uh maybe mast so I, I could see jackal and mast instead so, so you might so that 50 might not have like a cooldown reduction but i could see because of this right like because of 2b and guillotine comes up together pretty nicely and jackal and mass and it you don't always have to have like a cooldown reduction obviously that's gonna be just like a one downside but at the very least you can do is this one with the volume now 
and then like Naga and Tia and probably some other team. So Noise and Sakura is fine. Like this one, yeah. Because we do have thing. That's so that's that that works fine. Yeah. This one actually works fine also. If we're focusing on the burst. But you sometimes uh, you also just gotta realize Jackal's buff does buff 2B and Guillotine also. So like their burst might end up like making an offset for that extra burst cooldown. And you yeah, so it sometimes maybe it might not even matter. Because actually for me in my solo raid, I think I used one with Jackal without any cooldown reduction. Yeah, uh, one of my teams in my solo raid. Alternatively, if you really want to, then... Or, or like, for example, you don't have mass, then... Yeah, that's when you can slap in, like... Dala could be also, like... This one, Summer Helm, you know. There, there's a lot of combinations for the Team 5, obviously. But right now... You know, if, if the Naga... Nagatia ends up being as what we're like really seeing like they're really good it might end up being in this team who knows I guess we'll just see there, there's there's so much like contribution con uh, like mix and match right now I pretty sure solar raid next sol upcoming solar raid is gonna be fun people are gonna be very like creative Walmart is that Walmart Tia? <laughs> yeah, you guys are mean. 